Hey everyone, how's it going? Today's video is going to be a long one. I'll be showing you guys the autographs that I got from the NC Dinos of the Korea Baseball Organization while they were here in Tucson uh, for their spring camp. So first, I'll get started with the cards and then I'll explain the jersey to you guys here in a little bit. But uh, first up we have Parkman Woo or Wu, depending on how you pronounce it, his all-star card. Uh, you can kind of see in the reflection how there's stars uh, in the card. I don't know if it really shows up all that well. So he's usually pretty cool uh, about signing for me. Uh, the dinos themselves as a whole, the team is just awesome about signing. Uh, I didn't have a lot of cards left of him, so that's why I only had two autographs. So next up is uh, Lee Sang Ho. He was a little bit tougher to uh, get autographs from, but he still still signed uh, pretty good for me. I had a ton of cards for these guys, but like I said, they are one of the better signing teams uh, when they're out here for me. Not that a lot of the guys are hard to get, but some, some of them are tougher than others. And now we have Ji Sa Kun or Hun. And then, uh, if you've seen my other videos, this is one of the cards with the facsimile autograph on the front. So, that's Mo Chong Min's normal autograph. So, I had him sign the back for me. Uh, turned out pretty good. Can't complain with that. He was uh, really, really good about signing for me this year. I ended up getting one of his broken bats, but... Uh, when I seen it, it didn't have his name or anything on it, uh, so I'm not sure if most of his bats are like that during the regular season where they don't have his name or anything, but I'm not going to show that because, I mean, to you guys, it would just look like a regular bat, so nothing special. Uh, next up, one of my favorite autographs in the KBO is Park Sok Min. So there's his facsimile auto. But uh, one of the reasons why it's my favorite is because he signs the card so huge and it's a really unique autograph. So here's one of his older facsimile autograph cards. This was for my buddy Dan. Uh, he sent me some cards so I ended up getting this one signed for him on the front. Here's another one of the uh, cooler cards. It's kind of hard to see with the light but there's a lot of sparkles on the card they're just not showing up uh, I tried to make it as bright in here as I could but uh, it's the lighting really isn't doing the card justice because it looks really really nice in person like I said this is going to be a long video and uh, we're maybe a quarter of the way through the cards uh, I had a decent amount of Park Sok Min left over because he ended up uh, not coming to camp last year because he was hurt. Uh, I got lucky and found this card. Uh, let me uh, tell you what his name is here in a sec. So it's uh, Jong Byom Mo. Uh, so this is one of his earlier cards when he was when he was with uh, the Hanwha Eagles. And if you guys remember in my last video, I always told you how I had a hard time getting autographs of uh, the Hanwha guys when I was living in Korea. So it was nice to get another one of those older Hanwha cards signed that I didn't think I would ever get done. So pretty much every year I have to go through all my old cards and try and translate the names and see if these guys have changed teams. Uh, just because it's... Uh, it seems like no matter how much uh, research or homework I do, I always end up running into somebody that I knew I had cards of, but they were just pictured on a different team. So this is uh, Kim Hyun Jun. Well, that was Kim Hyun Jun, uh, the guy that I just showed you. And that's another one of the uh, cards of, who was that? Jung Bom Mo that I misplaced. All their catchers, I was getting confused this year with their catchers because they were numbered 20, 22, and then 24, but 24, 
uh, is usually pretty easy for me to recognize. And then 25, I think they had like something crazy, like six or seven catchers in camp. I don't remember any of the other teams that were out here this year that had that many catchers in camp. Because uh, usually the teams will, they'll send uh, like uh, just regular bullpen catchers, not guys with KBO experience or anything like that. So now we have Kim Goente. Another one of the cooler autographs. I like those uh, vertical autographs. So this one, the sparkles are actually showing up pretty good. The uh, pitchers were a little bit more difficult for me to get this year because... NC changed it up where the pitchers would go to a couple different fields and they would do all their drills, stuff like that. But then they would leave uh, through a totally different exit. So I kind of had to choose between uh, trying to get the pitchers autographs and the position players autographs. So I would just change it up every day. And then here's their all-star catcher, Yang Yi Ji which if you can see up here in the corner, uh, that's his bat. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. But uh, I, I try not to bug uh, Yang Yi Ji anymore because he's one of the guys that remembers me from Korea during his time with the Doosan Bears. He's one of the more uh, popular players in the KBO and arguably the best catcher in the KBO. So he had a ton of cards, and so I, uh, I try not to bug him too much anymore. But he's super, super nice. Here's the uh, Bowman knockoffs of uh, Che Sung Young. These cards look really nice in person, especially when they're signed. And he has a nice big autograph that looks really good on these cards. And there's the, uh, you can see the sparkles in there. One of their special jerseys, uh, NC War. I forget what that was for. A lot of teams are starting to wear special jerseys more and more often, and it's hard to keep up with it. And then we got Park Jin Woo. These cards look really good too, but for some reason, the, the sparkles just don't want to show up. So it's weird. Some cards it does, and then other cards it doesn't. We have Park Jin Woo with uh, another one of their alternate jerseys. The uh, Sharpie, I think he was, uh, I got him right after he was done working out. And I want to say uh, he got sweat on the card. So it's like game used right there with his sweat. But another guy with a, a nice autograph, I like him. And then, uh, for some reason, this dude's cards, uh, they just did not take a good signature, and I prepped them like crazy. There's just some players that, for some reason, their cards, you can see here how it bled pretty bad, that uh, their cards just wouldn't take the ink. So that's the first stack done. Uh, got two more for you. So now we have E1J, and you can see here, that right there that says NC. Um, most of the time guys will put the uh, parent company's name on the card. That's a uh, Korean thing. I don't think any of the... Uh, I've never seen any of the CPBL or MPB guys do it to their cards, but I'll have to go through and check. So here's a pretty cool card. This one is a, a clear card. It was from the... Uh, trading card game you would get one of these per box and uh this is Lee Myung Gi. I have one of my favorite player E Day Hyung where he signed it right here on the back uh and it actually didn't turn out too bad but I was hoping that Lee Myung Gi would give me a bigger signature than that cuz this is his facsimile signature so it took a little bit of going back and forth with him to sign the front and then he finally did but you can see 
how his autograph has changed over time. And then compared to the other ones that he gave me, I'll show you those cards. Uh, that autograph was definitely one of the smaller ones. So here's it. Uh, that was this card when he was with the SK Wyverns. These, uh, some of these are his Kia Tiger cards. And then you can kind of see the, yeah, the sparkles show up on that really good. And then this is his, uh, one of his, I can't remember what it is. I think it's the rare card, but it's glossy. So those were kind of tricky for me to prep. And now here's his, uh, NC Dinos cards. So that was all of Yi Myung Gi. Now we got Kwan Yi Dong. So that one looks really good too. And then this is uh, Kim Tae Jin. Had a few of him. Here's uh, M Chong Min. Really, really nice guy. Probably one of the nicest guys in the KBO. Uh, I've been getting his autograph uh, a lot. Even when I was in Korea, uh, he would. He was uh, super, super nice and would take his time and sign everything for me. So I'm getting to the point where I don't have a lot of uh, cards left of his. And I think this was a. Uh, a brand new sharpie that's why it's uh like the tip is so fine on the autographs and now we have i forget his name Wan jong hyun he's uh one of the star relievers in korea he always wears his hat cocked to the left no matter what But I only had a few left to him. Here's Na Sung Bum. Uh, they're saying this year is the year that he probably would have tried posting to uh, MLB. But last year he had a pretty gruesome uh, injury. So that kind of ruined his chances. Uh, but now he's he's in his 30s. Uh, so he may not end up posting and stay in Korea. But... Super, super nice guy. Wish nothing but the best for him. Here's one of his facsimile autographs. He's one of the guys that has zero problem signing these cards. Uh, this one is from a, my buddy Dan. So he'll be happy to see that, that he got a really nice autograph on it. And his autograph always looks the same no matter what. Uh, he's He really takes his time and he's a really, really nice guy. So here's another one of Dan's cards. The Team Korea card. That one turned out really good. So now we have EJ Hawk, or Hack. Uh, he's one of their star pitchers that has a ton of cards. Uh, and you'll see how many that I ended up getting signed. That uh, he does have a lot of cards. And he's one of those guys that, for some reason, I just was never able to get until this year. So. I tried to make sure that I got everything done by him that I could. Now we have No Jin Hyuk, number 52. That card looks really, really good too. I love those cards, even though they ripped off Bowman. I think I may have gotten one of his bats too. I can't remember. And we have Bay J Wan. He was another guy that I had a decent amount of cards of. All right, so now we have the coaches' cards. Uh, this coach, it seems like every time I asked him for an autograph, he would sign this card. 
So Andy only signs one card per, so I had to start just handing him one card at a time and make sure that I didn't uh, already give him that card. So that's E Jong Uk. And then next, uh, another one of their famous coaches, I forget his name, but this is one of those game cards that I was telling you about. But he has a pretty cool autograph, it's just super tiny. And then another one that I was really excited about, one of their coaches, Sun Min Han. If you've seen my other videos, this is from the uh, Konami uh, 2009 World Baseball Classic uh, Baseball Hero set. So I was super happy to get him to sign that one. And then here's one of his uh, all-star cards. This is the regular version. And then there's a wave uh, parallel that is showing up really good one here so I ended up getting a couple of him really nice guy he's always surprised that I have so many of his cards probably like a bunch of the guys and then this is the gold edition uh, release from the 2015 2016 season so there's the regular uh, card and then here on the right is the gold bordered card or yeah on, on the rights to gold bordered Another one of the regular ones. I think I may have some really older cards of him too that I just need to find. I'm really, really unorganized. So here is the newest uh, foreign acquisition fielder, uh, position player, I should say. So this is the Allen and Ginter X uh, version of their cards. Usually it's an all white background and then the frame is black on those cards. So this is Aaron Alter. Ended up getting him to uh, sign it in silver uh, paint marker, and it looks really good in person, but I'm, I'm not sure if you can t tell just how good it looks uh, on the camera, but it, it definitely pops. So he was super nice. Uh, ended up talking to him quite a few times throughout the camp. One of the other acquisitions that they had is Mike Wright uh, from the Baltimore Orioles. Well, former Baltimore Oriole. He was, he was really cool to talk to. Uh, I just, I didn't get his cards in time because uh, for a while he only had one Bowman card, and then he ended up uh, having some tops total made. But I didn't get those in time. This is uh, this card's for my buddy Edmund. Uh, one of the other cards is for him too. I uh, he lives in Korea. He hooks me up with uh, cards a lot. So, and then here's the other two heritage of altar that I got so we'll get to the game use stuff even though it wasn't a, an actual game so here is the handle of the bat the bat knob uh, you see EJ 25 that's a uh, young EG so right here is uh where he broke it made it's uh, made by Zet I want to say they're Australian manufacturer nope Japan so I lied so right here it has his name Yang EG number 25 and then I had him sign it up here on the top in blue sharpie I don't know if you can really pick it up but this is a uh, an orange bat and I was kind of debating on whether or not I should have him sign it in the silver paint marker or if I should just go with the blue sharpie I went with the blue sharpie and I, I don't think it looks too bad so next is the other uh, foreign player for the NC Dinos, and that's Drew Ruchinski. Uh, he played for NC last year, and he made the all-star team. But with the way that the KBO is, there isn't any cards of the foreign players. So a lot of times I have to improvise and try and find some stuff. So... I found his 2017 batting practice hat, which he was pretty uh, surprised that I had. But that was his number when he was with the Twins. There's the MLB authentication, the hologram. So that's the BP hat. And then here is his 2017 uh, home jersey. Had this signed in silver paint marker. So there's that. Uh, 
I did some research and I found out that he actually uh, played with the Marlins as well. Here's the tag that you can see, 2017, uh, number 32. And then here's the front of the jersey. I'm not a huge Twins, well, not a Twins fan at all. But these Twins jerseys, I'm, I'm a really big fan of those jerseys. They look good in person. Uh, let me see if I can find the authentication for you. Right down here is the sticker. I don't know why they put the sticker on the jersey itself. Usually they put it here on the, uh, the I guess, manufacturer tag. But for some reason they didn't. Uh, one of the other cool things is the patch on the sleeve. I, I really like that. Uh, patch and you can see Minneapolis and St. Paul that's what those two stand for and then the river so Minnesota Twins so the Twin Cities I believe it is so that's uh all for the NC Dinos hope you guys like the video uh remember to uh like and subscribe so I'll see y'all soon bye